Good. LFD. Good morning, sir. Ready to give it a dangle. Yeah. God, what a beautiful outfit. Thank you, sir. Unbelievable. Thank you. So I get to fish in this. You're my co-pilot today. All right. Co-pilot to the Mondos. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Come Log on. Log up the Bulldog. Miss B, she matches the boat. That's, would she be good? Wouldn't she look good? She'd be a good there? mascot, yeah. Come on, but you got to stay home. All righty, y'all. We're out on the lake. Windy, blustery, and I cannot believe the water temperatures. 51. Not liking that. Not liking that. But we're going to give it a shot here. I thought it was going to be like upper 50s and we would maybe see some 60s. That is not going to happen. So we're going to go with the hard baits and just wind and grind some of these grass type areas, lead in spots, and see what we can come up with. So without further ado, let the matching duo, Bandito Camo, father and son, start fishing. A lot of life, a lot of activity on the scanners. Feel good about it. The Dead Sea. Come on, Dead Sea. Put one out. Put one out. We need a big hog. I gotta tell you, I feel very good about this area though. It's got the right stuff. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. Come on. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Oh, big head. Telling you. Get the nets on. Nets? <laughs> Are you sure? I think you can do it. Look at this fish. I think you got this all the way. Don't lose him now. Oh gosh, a big one. It's a big one. Get, get that face. There you go, guys. There you go. Nice one. That's the same spinnerbait you caught your PB on. It is. Here. The exact same one. Oh my God, I love that fish. <laughs> Woo. Look at the tail meat. Oh, this yeah. is what I've noticed on all these fish out here lately is they are thick. They're yeah. thick in the tail. Like that fish probably weighs more than what it looks like. Not long, but he is a thick son of a gun. That hook hit him just right. Woo! Nice fish. Yeah! You want to get him on the scale real quick? Ah, uh, you know, he may have boat shrinkage. Boat shrinkage? <laughs> what were you thinking originally? I was thinking an uh, eight, but I don't, he's not an eight. An eight? What do you think? What do you think it is? Six. See if it's gonna lock. Hands shaking a little bit. I know, man. Come on, man. My shoulder's hurting. Five, five seventy. It keeps going from five sixty to five eighty. So we'll call it five seventy-five. Five and three quarter pounds. I'm Very nice fish, sir. Thank you. Very nice fish. Uh, let's let her go. Yeah. Let her go. Give her a little tickle. There you go. Wabam. All right. My man. Hey, that's slow, pulling it slow, and then it's, I just, it just went away. Doof. It went away. I show everybody that, that spinnerbait. 
This is favorite. literally the same one you caught your PB on. Yeah, I caught a 915 last year. A bluegill colored 3 8 ounce zinger uh, with a um, with a little boot tail on the back of it. Yeah. A little boot tail chartreuse. So that maybe they're eating bluegill. Maybe that's what they want in that grass. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Wow. Pulling it slow. Same wow. thing. Wow. LFD. You got to smash that like button for LFD. I knew we were in a good spot. I was like, God, there ought to be a big one on that around that tree. And then, pfft, got him. Cool. Let's keep fishing. I don't, I don't expect many fish today, but the ones we do catch, I think are going to be that size. This fish is on my jerk bait. I like it's about to eat it. Swarming right underneath it. Fish. Hate it when they do that. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. Smoked it. Oh, it's a big one, Dad. It's a real big one. Uh, do you know where it is? No, 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 no. Just help me. Just help me. Oh, my God, it's a giant. Just get the, get the stuff out of the way. I'm going to sit in your seat. That might be over eight. It's a real big one. Worst land job on a big fish ever. Oh god. Lee, that's a big. Oh my god. <laughs> Look Woo. at that. Look at that clutch down the hatch, y'all. Nice fish. That's a giant. Clutch, baby. Clutch. You guys don't have some clutches in your arsenal you might want to get some because that's the that might be <laughs> that's over eight I'm gonna get this one in the well for a second oh yes Woo how about that i thought it was bigger than eight when it came out of the water Y'all red, red crankbaits, red crankbaits. I've been trying to tell you. I've been trying to tell you, let's cash crawl right there. Just working a, uh, this is a point that splits these creeks right here. And right across from dad, where dad just had one. And saw this little grass line, looked good. 
about six to eight foot and I was just pumping that thing and then again just boom hit it on the stop oh man that's awesome and I got my scale so we can it's not close to the other one I had the other day when I didn't have a scale but I think it's over eight for sure oh man y'all it's big fish season you just never know oh just gotta take a second here soak that one in I know we're not gonna catch many fish today so everyone it's like just soak it in on the dead sea that's my biggest fish i've ever caught out here by the way by far biggest fish <sighs> dad what's your pb out here uh 915 915 yeah. and and a lesser man would call it a 10 <laughs> but that's exactly right you've uh you've been working working hard out here he actually is you've caught two fish over eight out here right out of your kayak yeah and i like i said i've never caught a fish uh i would say over five or six pounds that's that's my first one and it's a doozy so oh man that's awesome that is awesome let's get a weight on this guy <sighs> All right, y'all, I got LFD on the camera. If it's a little shaky, <laughs> give some credit. You just caught a big bass, he's still shaking. All right, we're gonna get a quick wait. Quick wait, quick photos, get this fish back. It's just absolute fatty. Man, man oh man. out eight eight and a quarter yes eight pounds and what will that be four ounces yep eight pounds four ounces so an absolute doozy just caught on the lipless and we're gonna continue working around this point I mean just we haven't even hit the apex of it yet so we're gonna stay in that grass line Oh, get a couple picks to let that fish go. Man. Gotta love it, baby. Mm, just, God, I love getting those bites on the reaction rod and it just bent over. Come on. Smash that like button. Pig. Absolute pig. Ah, love to see it. All right. Let's put her in the water. Go make some babies for the Dead Sea for me. I'm gonna catch your babies. There she goes, slow swim off. Let's go. Fish number two, a giant. If we get four bites today, it'll be it'll be big. It'll be big. So, Dad, you ready to uh, get back after it? Let's get do it. Casting? Let's duplicate. Let's do it, man. All right. So Dad was just asking me, how do I fish uh, the clutch? You know, do I use the reel or do I use the rod to work it? And I'm using a medium um, speed. This is a go-to in our reel. It's not out yet, but this is a 7.3 to 1. And 8.2 eight, uh, eight two to 1 or 8.1 to 1 is, is also really good. For a little colder water or a little deeper, I don't mind the, uh, the medium speed. But I mostly use the reel, and I just keep the rod straight at the lure. So I'm always stopping it four or five cranks I'll stop and the reason I like to uh, use the reel and kind of keep that that line semi slack is is for the fall so most of my hits on the lipless are coming on the fall bait and if I work the rod tip up if I rip it and I drop it it puts a lot of slack in the line and it could let that bait the hooks on that bait catch the line and i don't want that so i want just semi slack and this bait falls really well it'll just fall into the grass but what we don't want is for it to uh, get caught on that line and then you got to reel the whole thing in and 
adjust it and start over so that's the reason that i like to just use the reel now, every once in a while i'll get grass on it and then i'll just pull it real hard like that but i'll go right back to pointing it at the uh, at the lure and just using the reel i realized this morning i've got to snatch it up a lot of times the hooks get tangled on the line. Yeah, especially with braid, because braid has no uh, memory. Yeah, so, all right, that makes sense. That's good coaching. Yep, that's <laughs> good coaching. Got it, real. You got bad bad spot on your line. Check your guides. One of your guides is, is broken. Oh my gosh. That would that would that would end badly, sir. You're right. Now you're missing a guide, and and you got broken. Let me hook you up with another rod. Need to get a new rod. Like, you know what, Dad? I just so happen to have some rods. <laughs> I think you're fishing with one of my Dobbins from 2010. There you go. Now, this is a muscle. It's a little, little hefty for that, but it'll be better than what you got. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna have crappie on there. No, it's a drum. A drum? Dad, a drum. you done stuck your drum. Well, it felt good. What were you thinking? Catching a drum? Look at that thing. Gasper goo, they call them. Two big bass and a little old drum. Two Lake Fork guys and a bottle of rum. Ah, ha, ha. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just no, kidding. No rum on the boat today. We're going to head to a different spot. I think it's going to be important to uh, find the warmest water that we can that still has good visibility. And if we can get a couple more bites, I'm telling you, we're, we're hitting, the, hitting the Dead Sea quota. I think we've already hit it, honestly. Dad's still got to break that 10 mark. In my lifetime. Yeah. And my he, question. A 9.15. Imagine catching a 9 pound, 15 ounce bass. And and the anticipation. You were in your kayak out here. You oh, had yeah. to flag down a boat. Say, excuse me, can you come weigh this fish? It probably lost an ounce by the time you drug it 100 yards over to the boat. And got it weighed. So, it probably was a 10 pounder. As soon as you caught it. Yeah, there were three old guys in a, in a small bass tracker, and uh, I had to pedal, I, I'm gonna say it was about a half a mile. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I, I, got, I got the bass on here, and I'm, you know, got my big spinner bait in yeah, his mouth. No scale, you gotta get you a Guggen scale, Dad. Yeah, I know. Go to GuggenSquad.com, use code LFG, save on a scale, clip it to your kayak. Be good to go next time. I do need to get one. I think I got one for you. Don't worry. But you guys can get a scale. Come on, biggin. This is, yeah. This is how the Dead Sea is. It looks great. You don't catch anything. It's actually nice being out here on a tournament day because you can see where everyone's fishing. We got eight foot grass stained right here, but heading into some clear stuff. 55. It's go time, baby. Latch on to the vibe jig, please. Somebody. Somebody hit something. It's also crazy. It's like you're not even getting, you know, buck bass. Like a pound, two pound bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah that is weird. You go know, straight to just giants. All right, fishing freaks. Last chance for victory on the Dead Sea. I mean, technically, we already had a monstrous victory today for the PB, but my goodness. Left this creek where we caught two bass went to another creek looked awesome didn't catch squat so we're, we're coming back to 
where we know life exists. I'm gonna go with my rule of thumb here. We have reached 55 degree waters. Plastic worm being deployed. There you go, Dad. Big it. Spinner bait fish. Yeah. Oh God. It's big. Let me get. Let me get the net. That's toad. Let's get this bad boy. Come here, yeah, baby. That's how we do it. Yes. Another one on the zinger. Oh yeah. It's my favorite bait. Dad, you came through for the Rackleys. <laughs> right at the last, the last bit of the day. We had a good call, came back here. That's another, that's a fat toad, a four pounder. <sighs> nice one, nice one. Very nice. Let's let her get over. Turn it to the waters. Oh yeah! The spinner bait. Look at this thing, it's all in net. You should retire this lure, man. After I, I would retire, if, uh, if I caught a 915 on a lure, I'd retire it. Well, I actually did. This is the replacement. Oh, yeah. so it's not the same one. No, no, it's not the exact, it's the same color, the same setup, but uh, it's a different lure. Was that three eighths or half? Three eighths, yeah. yeah. Up there in them shallows. Trying to get it out there and see what's slow, right? Going in, up in them shallows with that three eighths. We were just discussing like, you know, just throw, throw a plastic right here. The spinnerbait didn't cross my mind. Spinnerbait going a little slower. It's a good call. Spinnerbait, never a bad call. Yeah, it's hooked up. That's a good one too. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, oh gosh, it feels, it looks big. Is it gonna be a sow belly or a drum? Take your time. Get him away from that tree, though. Oh, you're good. It's a big fish. It's a big fish. Oh my god! Aren't you glad you switched that? Switch that rod. Come on. Come on, baby. Get it up. Get it up. Oh my gosh! It's a giant. Come on, Dad. Come on. Yeah, Woo! baby! Yeah! Oh my god! Oh, oh it's so close. Look at that pig! Oh my gosh! That's a pig! Yeah. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Woo! That spinnerbait is killing it! Oh my god! It's almost, you know, jerked the rod out of Oh man! I think that might be bigger than your first one. I don't know. It's pretty close. This might. I think this one's gonna go six. I think so. Oh. That belly. That belly. Six. Six eighty six. That's a big picture fish, man. <laughs> let's get a good photo with that one. Yeah. Let's do it. Oh, golly. Like hey, tearing it up. Look at that thing. Beat up, but getting it done. What do you got a, a 3.8 inch saucy on there? Yeah, yeah. On the back? I, I tell you what's cool about it. All right, what's this? Look at that. Googling out right uh, now. Yeah, I know. What's this? See, look, it's so balanced. It just does move. Yeah, for the slow. slow. You're yeah. going slow with it. That's the key. Yeah, it's just right over the top of those weeds. And it's Man, just, the Alabama. Guggen squad hat 
From the Bassmaster. From the Bassmaster Classic years ago. That's his dad's good luck hat. He always wears it. I wear it when I'm serious about catching. Well, you know what? That's a serious fish. Deserves a good picture. All right. One, two, three. That'll go on. On the Facebook fan page right there. That's a good one. All right, let that big, beautiful sow go. Yeah, let's see if we can get another one. I know. It's heating up. Tickle? There we go. <laughs> what a fight, too. Woo! Yeah. What a fight on that. It was ripping. Yeah, she was taking line. I got it set pretty heavy, too, so. Dad's fishing the go-to. Yep. Go-to series with braid. We've made a couple more casts here. No fish. I think I think that is a good way to end the day. A high six. We're going to take it on back to the house, but thank you all for tuning in today to an awesome day on the water with LFD. You know, there's only so many days in your lifetime you get to spend out on the water with your dad. And this one right here has been a, a really good one. So, dad, good times. Good times. Enjoyed fishing with you as always. And, and, and good dangling. And would have been an excellent tournament partner today. All right, my little beauties. I'm gonna let you out just for the last part of the day here. Come on out. Frolic. Put your frolic on. Oh, little frizzle booty has gone broody. You're broody, aren't you? Yeah. She, I think she's been sitting there all day, guys. I came in here this morning. She was sitting on an egg, and she's still sitting on eggs. Let's see what she does when I try to get in here. She's getting upset. She's trying to hatch them. I started my day with those chickens. Came out here, got me three eggs. We were out, and I made three over easy eggs to fuel me through today's dangle, y'all. Wow, any day you can spend on the water with your dad, it's great it's awesome but actually catching some fish today uh made it a really awesome day i know my dad was really pumped and i was just texting a buddy of mine as we got off the water like hey we caught a few big ones out at um old the dead sea today and he said oh man you guys should have uh fished that tournament you actually would have done pretty decent i looked and um yeah we would i think we would have had 23 24 pounds with uh with four fish and and actually done pretty well top five in, in the tournament so crazy performance at the dead sea uh i i was kind of debating going crappie fishing today i was like we'll see how it goes and after my dad caught that first bass i was like all right let's focus on bass try to try to have a good bass day and i'm, I'm glad we did so awesome performance by lfd today and awesome performance by the zinger y'all the zinger my dad was throwing the bluegill color and this one, this one's actually the bumper. It's uh, It's got the Colorado blades, but that 3 8 ounce up there in the shallow stuff, you know, 3 8 and half ounce are your two best weights uh, for this time of year. And the way those fish were going a little slower, that 3 8 is really good. And the half ounce clutch, y'all, I mean, you know, I only caught one fish today, but it was a daggum big, and those clutches are catching big fish. I, I can't. For life me i'm like I, I haven't had a big jerk bait bite yet really um and I, that's usually what i catch my big fish on um real early so if you guys want to get you some of those or any of the other baits googlesway.com again use my code lfg save check out but thank you guys for tuning in for a special episode of me fishing with my dad lfd as he is known and smash that like button for father son fishing and i wish you guys the best in your outdoors Actor activities, whatever they are, bass fishing, truck camping. Let's be serious. You need to be dangling right now. It is dangle season. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I will see you on the next one.